how to install just fans script so let me see let's look at let's look at some properties some characteristics of this script just fans premium content creators SaaS is a fully featured php platform that allows you to start your own premium content based social media platform in no time the experience is powered by a mobile first clean and easy to use design with dark and light motifs outl and localization capabilities it allows your creators to sell their premium content via monthly subscriptions offers bundles tips and pay to unlock post now next i will go to code list but before i go to code list the cc to download the script please note code list is only meant for testing purposes please use link in description to purchase script license to go live and also please like share and subscribe to the video and lastly use link in description to hire me to help you install the scripts now i go to uh, my open a new tab i click on code list the cc i press code list the cc okay So next I click on the search button. Okay, let me refresh this. Okay, here is it. I click on the search button. I search for my just fans premium content. Just fans. Just fans premium content. Then I click my enter. Okay, here is it. Here is it. I click on it. Don't forget use link in description to purchase script to purchase script license to go live. Code this is only meant for testing purposes, please. Yeah. Next. I scroll down. I select any of the link. Let me see. I select this. Want to copy? I open a new tab. I paste it there. Then enter. So next, I click on my download. After it has been download, after downloaded, then I will close the back. I will close the back. Then I go to my download on my system so here is it and it's a raw file so but i will need to extract it so i'll change it to a, to a zip file because my c panel only accept a c zip file so i double click on it to extract it Okay, open. Let's try to. Okay. 
we are starting so after the extraction here is it I do I open it and I will click to open it I open it so yeah this is this is what I want to install script is already is it the zip file is already there, but if I is not there, I will just send this to archive, add to archive. I will zip, then I say okay, then I it will archive, it will turn to a script file, a zip file. So since it's already there, I don't need to do that again. So next, I will go to my C panel. Next, I go to my C panel. Here is it. For my C panel, I will go to my file manager. My file manager. Files. File manager. So for my file manager. I go to the subdomains, or if I even I'm using a domain, then I for it. But in this regard, I'm using a subdomain, and my subdomain is this. I've already uploaded the zip file, but let me show you how I uploaded it. I click on upload. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. And use link in the description to hire me to help me install the script. So, next, I just drag and drop my my file there. I click on it. I click on it. Then I click on my mouse, sorry, I click on it, or I, I click on it, I press it, uh, my left button, I click on my left button without moving my hand, then I click on my mouse and drag it to this place, then I drop it. But because I have already uploaded it, that's why I didn't drop it here again. So, next, I will, after that, I will just click on go back. So, next, I click on it, then I right click, then I start. I start files. Please. It. I select or I right click, then click on move. I send back to the main folder, which folder, then move files. I move it back to the root folder upon level. So here is it. Next, I go to my database. database my SQL database so let me create my database let me name it as this create database I click on my go back 
because it has already added. Then a hard user. Let me name it as user. So my password. Good user. I click on my go back. I've created the database. The user. Next, I will add the user to the database. I will make sure I select the name of the user name I selected now and the database I just created. Then add. I will give all privileges. Then come down, make changes. Okay. It has been created. Go back. So next, I will now go to my domain. I will go to my domain. MGT. MGT. Slash install. Then enter. Oh, sorry. Let me move the install. Okay, enter. Slash public. Slash public. Okay. Uh, page will allow you all next. Next. It's only that one that is, and it goes. Look how it. My database name. This it. MGT username. My password. So next, site name, let me just see, the site name should be this, admin email, let me see admin at gmail.com, password, admin password, let me see this. Nice speed license and um, let me just see one, two, three, four. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. And also use link in the description to hire me to help me install the script. Install script. Okay, I think it has installed. So I go back to my So it has installed successfully. Here is it. Now, let me now log in as an admin. Log in as an admin. If you know the, the admin that I created when I'm connecting the database, 
So I use admin at gmail.com. The password I use, I use this login. This picture is in do not match our record. Wow. Let me sign up. Let me see this. Let me see admin zero one password. So, so this is my dashboard notification. If I have any notification, I will get here messages. So, yeah, let me go back to my own page. So please, please link in the script on to allow me to help you install the script. Also please like, share and subscribe. But don't forget, I use code list for testing purposes only. Please link in the description to purchase script license to go live. Thank you for watching.